morning, it's Karen from Block the Bitch. So, yesterday I was talking to a fit pro who actually made um, £1,300 since talking to me about five days ago. So, um, he's doing really well, but he was asking for more hints and tips. And we're talking about the fact that they work in a budget gym. And obviously, there's like a difference between pricing for joining a budget gym and then going up to personal training. And we've been going through all sorts of ways to bridge that gap. One thing I was talking about was actually just how to connect with people in the gym. And I said, you know, fit pros sometimes can be really, really terrible. They see someone running on a treadmill and they go, oh, they shouldn't be running on a treadmill. They should be lifting weights. Now, it's all about meeting your potential client where they're at. So if you see someone running on a treadmill, instead of kind of trying to persuade them straight over to the weights area and straight into a consultation with you, just go up and have a little chat and ask them if they're potentially training for a 5K. And if they are, you could say, um, well, I've got a great set of hints and tips in my office for getting you to that 5K. Shall I just pop in to my office, get you a copy and bring it out for you? And then you've given them some free information. And you're starting to build that like, know and trust relationship with them without any kind of sales, which I know some of you hate that idea that you're only talking to people to make a sale. If they're not training for a 5k, don't be thrown by that. Say, hey, I think you could easily get to doing a 5k for charity. I've got some hints and tips for you um, in my office. Shall I get you a copy of that sheet? And, you know, it's like a progress chart and it could set you up nicely for doing a 5k in a couple of months. Would you like a copy of that? I can go get it for you. So again, no selling involved, just being helpful, just giving out information, but you will become the person they know, like, and trust in that gym. So there's a very, very quick little tip for getting to talk to people in the gym without feeling like you're the uh, sleazy salesman. Okay, bye.